Welcome back to Families in Action on your local hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. I'm Kerry Question, along with Michael Doherty. And you know what October is? I do. It's, it is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. That's right. And, and we were talking during the break, and wow, I know why it's Domestic Violence Awareness Month. The numbers are outrageous. They're frightening. The statistics Kerry. are completely just mind boggling. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to you, Mike. Carrie, you know, we talk every single week about what happens during our show with respect to drugs, and that is that five people, and, and possibly as many as 10 now, mm-hmm. during that hour will lose their life while we're doing this show because of drug overdoses. And we're not even talking about the suicide and the murders right. and the vi- and all the other stuff that comes with it. That's just that. But these numbers are worse. Well, hang on to your hat. I don't have one. With respect to if you had one, I theoretically, don't. you'd hang on to it. I would. And, and Justin is hanging on to his headphones because this is going to blow him right off. Why don't you hear this, Justin? October, of course, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. We need to know this. One woman is assaulted or beaten every nine seconds. That's over six women every minute. Every minute. So, Carrie. Say that again. One woman is assaulted or beaten every nine seconds. By the way, this is just in the U.S. alone. And this is, you're just talking women. You didn't even say children or... Domestic or, violence. Or, or husbands. Just women. Yeah. That's six women every minute. Mm. So in one hour during our show, nearly 400 women in the U.S. alone will be assaulted or beaten. Now, we have 24 hours in a day, so do the math. That's like nearly 10,000 in just one day. And well over 3 million in a year. So you're talking about just physical abuse. What about emotional? Right. Yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness. I Doesn't mean, that uh, disgust you? Now, I, I, I have How more. many women in an hour? Well, in an hour, it would be 400. 400 women are beaten? Beaten or assaulted. Every hour. <clears throat> Every hour in the United States alone. See, I mean, it's obvious to anyone out there, all you have to do is turn on the news for about an hour, maybe not that long, and you understand that our country is very violence prone right now. We're either, you know, we're either screaming at people verbally or we're taking out our anger with something else. We're either punching somebody, hitting somebody, or we're shooting them or stabbing them or blowing them up. But this is what we're doing to women. We're physically assaulting and beating our spouses or our girlfriends to the tune of every nine seconds in the United States, a poor female is getting assaulted. And of course, you're right, Carrie, this does not account for men who are also assaulted, but nowhere near or this children. number. Yeah. Now, domestic violence is the leading cause of injury to women between the ages of 15 and 44 in the United States, more than car accidents, muggings, and rapes combined. And by the way, I have to tell you, these are old numbers. It's yeah. probably much more than this now. Wow. Now, here's something interesting, and I hope that if you're listening and you own a pet, this doesn't upset you, but take this in the way, in the spirit that it's meant. There are 1,500 shelters for battered women in the United States. There are 3,800 animal shelters. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Three to four million women in the United States are beaten in their homes each year by their husbands, ex-husbands, or male lovers. One in every four women will experience domestic violence in their lifetime. Eighty-five percent of domestic violence victims are women. So, and you've alluded to this, yes. men are also victims oh, of we, domestic I, violence. I've been dealing, yes, we have people that come that have been abused by their wives. Absolutely. Police report that between 40% and 60% of the calls they receive, especially on the night shift, are domestic violence disputes. That's almost that's almost half or more than half, 40 to 60%. And one of the most dangerous calls an officer can go on. That's correct, because more officers get, get injured. And I, can, I wasn't a police officer, but I, w- I was in involved with television news. Right. And we got a call to go to a situation at a motel one time where this is what took place. And it was in the middle of a huge snowstorm. A woman was seen coming out of one of the motel rooms and a man came running out in his underwear, grabbed her and drug her screaming and kicking back into the motel room. So the SWAT team arrived. 
television news arrives. When it was all over, we found out that it was the woman's husband right. that had done that. But she wasn't enraged at her husband. She was enraged yes. at the SWAT team, yes. at me, <laughs> at everybody uh-huh. else there. How could you yeah. do this? How could you be here? How could you do this? I remember when I was really young in New York, same kind of story. There was some guy beating up his, some girl, and uh, my father said, hey, and he get out the car to stop it, and the girl stabbed him. Mm. I mean, didn't with a little knife, but still, it was like, wow, he so, was protecting her. And she, but but that goes back to the self esteem, and and yeah. when people are abused like that, I mean, it's it's. Uh, but you're right; it, it's very dangerous for for law enforcement to go in right. to one of those, and and yet, forty to sixty percent of their calls, especially at night, are that. Well, now, you know, when I when I, and I deal with a lot of that just because of the groups and the rehab centers that I have, and and our behavioral health, it's always the same thing. But he loves me, right? He wouldn't do it if he didn't love me. Mm-hmm. That's not love. Not. Uh-uh. No. I can't see how you can love somebody and beat them. No. No. And the insanity continues. 25 to 45% of all women who are battered are battered during pregnancy. Wow. That 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 hurts. Oh my goodness. 25% of women that are battered 25 are battered to 45%. During? Wow. A huge percentage. So now you've beaten two people. Uh, Hmm. The cost of intimate partner violence exceeds 5.8 billion with a B each year. And 4.1 billion of that is for direct medical and mental health services. Wow. Victims of intimate partner violence lost almost 8 million days of paid work because of violence during this survey. I mean, this this is just, these statistics are just sickening. They are sickening. I mean, One in 10 calls made to alert police of domestic violence are placed by a child in the home. These kids have to watch this happen. Mm-hmm. You know, I was talking to my group and just going to take a sidetrack for a minute. And we deal with, as you know, out of control kids, right? Mm-hmm. And I always say the same thing to parents. You know, we're obligated to teach our kids right and wrong, right? And if we have a teenager that's out of control, that's putting their hands on mom or dad, mm. what are they going to do to their wives and children? They tend so, to follow that. So when we allow that to happen in our homes, we're breeding it to, exactly. to continue. It's exactly. it's like a prescription for disaster. A huge percentage of children that, that witness that sort of thing mm-hmm. uh, tend to later in life uh, do the same thing. And again, I want to remind our listener that mm. October is Domestic Violence Month. This is Awareness, Awareness Month. month right. Awareness Month. And, you know, we really have to be thankful to Linda Davies, uh, the executive director of the, Devi- the Domestic Violence Center here in the Santa Cruz Valley. That was Valley. supposed to be here today. Well, she was. But where, every, hey, Linda, where are you? Everything they do but is yeah. so important. After reading these numbers, and I don't know about you, but it literally just put a knot in my stomach to hear these yeah. statistics. Can you imagine that at the end of our show, Carrie? 400 women would have been beaten or assaulted. Can you imagine living in fear like that? Oh, Can no. Can you imagine being a child, what, 2 to 18 or whatever Witnessing age, that. knowing that your father is going to be beaten, your mother? Yeah, and, you, and you've and you seen even verbal arguments between people at home cause children to be of terrified. Course. And you've seen movies and television shows where the child is cowering in their bed or under their bed or someplace in the house where they're hearing this horribleness go on. What a thing. Or and worse, grow, where yeah. the kid has to get between mom and dad. Oh. You know how many times I've dealt with that? At, oh, my goodness. At my groups where a little six-year-old, don't hurt my mommy. Yeah. I mean, it's just it, it, the, the, the scars that this leave is incredible. It is incredible. And, you know, for, for, for if you're listening right now and you're a victim of what we're talking about, I want to mm-hmm. tell you something. I don't have the number here. If I do, I'll look it up. Maybe we can check it online for the uh, local Justin, can domestic you you can violence center. But the he's, reason— he's, he's looking it up. He's going to look it up. Good. And the reason—and I, and I know you may be saying right now, no, 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 no. I don't want to make a call because he'll, he'll trace it. The reason I'm bringing it up is I remember what Linda said the last time she was here. They can't. 
they have their phone number set up for the local uh, domestic violence center here in Santa Clarita so that it's not traceable, so the no- number does not show on the screen. And if you're in an unsafe environment and you need to get out, they know that the Domestic Violence Center here in Santa Clarita can place you somewhere else. That's right. They'll out take of good Santa care Clarita. Of you. They'll take good care of you. And that doesn't mean um, that you got to be placed. You can go there for counseling. They have groups and stuff like that. You don't have to be a woman. That's right. I mean, if you're a man that's getting abused, you can go there. So it's... Exactly. And here's how here's how scary it is, because in Santa Clarita, now we're talking about Santa Clarita, eight homicides related to domestic violence occurred last year. Wow. If and listen to this, if if, before you go any further, it's kind of one of those kind of things. If you don't make it stop, it gets worse. It doesn't get better. If somebody's abusing you and beating you and, and a life-changing event don't rock their world to stop them, and, and, and they get, it gets worse. Mm. And then we end up with eight homicides yeah. in a year. And I want to repeat that. In Santa Clarita, Santa Clarita, eight homicides related to domestic violence last year. Mm. And this is what I was going to say, that's, Terry. That's really terrible. It is. Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital identified domestic violence as one of the Valley's top 10 public health concerns because they see them. They see the poor ladies that come in that are all beat up in the, in the emergency department. Oh. So I'm going to give two numbers out. Then you can continue sure. for emergencies number. If, if Well, you can always dial 911. That's right. Always. But if you don't want to do that, you can call 259-661. I'm sorry, 259-4357. That's an emergency number. Again, 661 259 Four three five seven for a non-emergency call. If you if you want to get some counseling or something, you can call domestic violence at six six one. That's here in Santa Clarita. It is two five nine eight one seven. Is that an eight one seven nine, Justin? Five eight one seven five. So I'll read it again. Two five nine eight one seven five. And we want and to it's remind completely confidential. Yeah, and we want to remind everybody that uh, Linda says that when when somebody calls or when you're calling, the number is it does not show and it's not traceable. So you're not going to get yourself in trouble again. Uh, let's not fool around with this. Um, eight. A domestic violence homicide last year in this valley. And Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital saying that this is one of the top 10 public health concerns here in Santa Clarita. And Carrie, again, just look at the clock. See what time it is. Mm. When this show finishes in about 15 minutes, 400 women in the United States will be have been beaten or assaulted as a result of domestic violence. So, October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Oh for, my goodness. For a good reason. Oh my goodness. So all of our best to Linda Davies, the executive director of uh, the Domestic Violence Center here in Santa Clarita. The good work they do. They help people every single day, Carrie. Yeah, they're one of our local heroes. I mean, th- think about it. How 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 the statistics on this, the numbers on this, just eclipse what we talk about every month. And it, it doesn't mean that the drug deal is any less of a problem. Oh, no. It's an epidemic, and we know that. So we're not lessening that at all. But if we're shocked every every Monday when we say five people will die during our show, possibly even more than that, as a direct result of drug overdose, but here we have 400 women in an hour getting in the United abused, States getting alone, abused, getting abused, getting physically abused, and 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 24 and more percentage of them pregnant while they're being abused. So here they they're babies. I mean, they're, oh my goodness, uh, it just it's so it's. I want horrible. just I want everyone to close your eyes and just think about that for a minute. Right now, some pregnant woman is getting beaten by their husband. That's crazy. Or, or boyfriend. Or, or boyfriend. Yeah. That's in, that's like insane. It is. And and again, you know, our our country needs to stop and take a look at at our our, our fondness for violence, either well, watching it on television or watching that, it in video games that are Yeah, but I do know violent. there's some domestic violent laws that are been really I mean, things change dramatically after the OJ deal. If somebody calls up and and the and the officers go to the house, um, even if the wife or husband don't want to press charges, they're arresting people now. Good. For violence, so they're not allowing that to go on if they, if they can stop it. It's a very sick thing in our society. It is. Game. Yeah, it's just it's just very very. Sad. It, it gives you the chills. And again, we we should. Can we you should. can you imagine sleeping in a house and not knowing? 
well, how he's going to come home. If you know what's happening, right, you're terrified. And I will say this, and, and you know, we talk about alcohol and drugs, a big percentage of this guy's is alcoholism. I was just going to say, Curie, this, a lot of this is yes, going to be driven by sir, drugs and alcohol. a lot of this is driven by alcohol and drugs. So we can get right back to where alcohol and drugs are involved. But can you imagine, I've heard this so many times from children, we don't know how he's going to come home. Mm. We don't know what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Especially if they tend to be a violent person. Yeah. But hey, I've I've seen a lot of people that weren't violent. They get violent when they're drinking. When they're drinking, right. So we really got to take a real hard look at what alcohol and drugs do to us. And what it, what it, how it, how it, yeah. We don't want to feed that monster. No, it's one of those monsters that we don't have to feed. But again, for emergencies, for domestic violence, it's 661-259-4357. That's 661-259-4357. Non-emergency, 661 259-8175. 259-8175. Again, you, 661-259-8175. Call those numbers. You do not want to be one of the people that is a victim of homicide as a result of this. We had eight of them last year. Don't be part of a statistic. We don't want you to be a part of the people that are even getting abused in any way. No. You deserve better. Oh, absolutely. Nobody deserves to be beaten. No. Nobody deserves to be abused. No. Nobody deserves to be in a relationship that's abusive. That's right. And it's an easy trap to fall into. I understand that. But I know he loves me, all that. We get it. Well, it's even more than that. Is If I leave, how do I take care of myself? Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of times the abuser's got all the financial, Mm -hmm. everything when it comes to that, the money. So they feel trapped. They feel trapped. But the reality is we get that, but there still is help. And until people, people don't change to the have to. Mm -hmm. Literally, they don't change to the have to. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting abused, I mean, you can always get a restraining order and the abuser will have to leave. They can be court things that go on that force them into counseling. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of options. There's domestic violence that can find you a safe place. There's a lot of options out there. And what I do want to say to anybody out there is if you're living in a house and someone's abusing you, you can get the restraining order. They have to leave. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that you can do. Making that first phone call to the Domestic Violence Center mm-hmm. will give you at least options so you'll know what you can and can't do. Yeah. So it's one of those kind of phone calls that you really need to make. Don't ever have to do anything. You don't have to listen to what they say, but they will give you options that you, that you will at least know you have. So on that note, Mike, what time is it? It's time to take a break, Harry, and we'll be right back with more Families in Action right here on KHTS AM 1220, your hometown station. Welcome back to Families in Action here on KHTS AM 1220, your hometown station. I'm Michael Doherty, also known as the Silver Fox, according to Kerry Quashin. I'm according here with to a Carrie, lot of people, Mike. According to a lot of people. And I'm here with Kerry Quashin, who is our national television star. You're appearing there on television all over the place. Carrie. Mm -hmm. And Carrie, you know, what a heavy, heavy show this has been. This has just been hard on your heart. So Mm, talk to us about happy relationships. Well, I'll tell you what, you cannot be in a relationship where you're getting abused or you're living in fear and be happy. How could that be good? I mean, our homes are our our paradise. It's our sanctuary. And when we're in our homes, we need to feel safe and loved. When we're in a relationship, we need to feel safe, loved, secured, cared about, and all that kinds of stuff. You're making me feel better already. <laughs> yeah, but 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 that's what we, we that's part of it. Absolutely. And it's kind of like having a garden. You got to water that garden all the time to keep it growing. Take care of it. Yeah. So if you're in a relationship, you got to water that relationship. Me Meaning intimacy, vulnerability, you know, caring about the other person that you're with, Mm -hmm. making sure that they come first, you know, doing things for them, not wanting something in return. That's a relationship. Being laying down, somebody sent me an email yesterday, laying down with somebody next to them, just feeling good because you're with them. You know, I I just need to interject this. As you know, my wife and I have been married for 43 years. Right. Congratulations. And well, thank I, you We very need much. to give her a plaque. Oh, <laughs> give her a plaque. Okay. Married? But, I don't know. <laughs> we've, we've been asked a lot of times by people, what what is the quote unquote secret? There really is no secret, but both Mary and I agree that it's a matter of communication and not 
being selfish. Right. You have to think of the other person. Selflessness, exactly. Yeah, you, you, you have to say, you know, you, you want to do this, but I don't, but let's do it because you want to, and, we and really, vice versa. And we have, to be, be, we have to really regard the other person's feelings. We have to really pay attention. Absolutely. I believe that you have to be in a relationship, you have to be present. You know what that means? You have to really be there with that person. That's right. You got to listen to them. You got to mm-hmm. see what's going on and feel it. And if you can be present and really care about that person, that relationship has to succeed. Yeah. And it's, it's a matter of sitting down and talking it out. Yeah, exactly. And and you and you have to do that. It's not like you talk about it once when you first get married and never again. You have to go back there and visit that regularly. It takes work, but and, guess what? Exa- it's worth it. It's but, worth it. And, and and you know what? You don't always have to be right. No. Well, I do, but it's, well, well, no. just, you might not always be right, <laughs> not but really. you're never wrong. No. We know that. <laughs> you don't you don't always have to be right, and you don't always have to argue. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you just need to just be there, be present. And that note, Mike, hey, this is what a great show. I mean, the numbers are alarming. Before we close, it's Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It Read is. those numbers that one last time oh, and then boy. let's close. I think I might have to drive over to, oh, was it Hobby Lobby? And see what's going on. They got me excited. Yeah, that's let's, a lot of let's fun. Let's read well, the um, phone number here. I have Oh, yeah. The, the phone number. This is for so anybody that's listening that you need to make this call. I'll let you read it, Kerry, because I don't remember what he said. That you got it. Were. The emergency number for, for domestic violence is 661 259 4357. Again, 259 4357. The non emergency number is 259 8175. That's 259 8175. Seven five, and remember, there's always nine one one, Michael. That's right. And I just wanted to say before we leave, and it's been an hour. Four hundred women have been assaulted or beaten during this time. Ouch! Ouch! Disgusting. Saddens me. That's why we do these shows. We need to bring awareness. With awareness comes knowledge. With knowledge comes power. That's right. On that note. All right. That's it for us. For Families in Action, join us again next Monday for more right here on KHTS AM 1220, your hometown station.